Alright guys, here is the video for today. This is the big news. The Droid Bionic right here, which is what I got in front of me, is getting Jelly Bean. So, today's video is going to be on showing you guys how to update from Ice Cream Sandwich to Jelly Bean. I'm going to go through as much detail as I can give you guys without trying to confuse you. Um, so, let's, let's first let's go ahead and let's just see what system version we are running right here. So, we're going to go to About Phone. And I'm going to show you right here the system version right here. This is 6.7.246.xt875 Verizon ENUS. You have to be on this system version to use the update that I'm going to show you to do. If you're not on this system version, it will not function. It will fail. Um, so make sure you are on that. Obviously, this is Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4 and Droid Bionic. Okay, so we've, we've done those things. You can, some of you can wait and you can check for system update right there and go ahead and do system update and see if it'll come through that way. It might, it may for some of you guys. If not, you're going to have to do it the manual way, which is what I'm going to show you today. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download a file. And it is, let me show you here. You're going to download it, and then you're going to put it on your external SD card. This is a file, a program I'm using right here called ES File Browser. It just lets me see my my internal storage and my external storage. So this is SD card external. So you just want to put it on the SD card external. This is the file right here. So it's actually labeled the system version that you're coming from, which is the 6.7.246. Um, they always label their update what you're coming from, not what you're going to. So it's not going to be called the Jelly Bean version. It's actually going to be labeled, like I said, the Ice Cream Sandwich version. But it is the Jelly Bean update. Kind of confusing, but that's what you—that's what the file should be called. This is where you want it. You want it on your external SD card. If it's on the internal, you cannot manually update. It has to be on the external SD card. Okay. Um, last, uh, if you have root permission like I do on this device show you guys with um, super user and you want to maintain root access then you're going to want to use an app like this voodoo OTA root keeper and you want to make sure that all these boxes are got checks mark check marks in them um, what it does is it backs up your SU binaries so that when you update you're going to lose root permission but then you can come back in this application and then restore it at this point, from what I understand, there is no uh, root, root uh, program or hack for Jelly Bean yet because it's just been released today. So if you want to maintain root access, that's what you're going to want to do. And you can leave it rooted just like it is. And also, if you have SafeStrap installed, this is only for people with root access. That's why I'm showing you this information. If you have SafeStrap installed right here, um then you're going to want to go ahead and obviously boot to your stock system which is what I'm running right here and go ahead and uninstall recovery because if you don't uninstall recovery it will fail because it'll look at the pre-install where this is installed and say that it's not exactly stock so you won't update correctly so now it says not installed on top that's what you want you can leave the application installed and you can leave you know root access and you just want to have it backed up so all the stuff talking about root access is strictly if you have root access already and you want to keep it if not you can ignore all the super user stuff the voodoo OTA root keeper and the safe strap information so uh, lastly if you have root access also you can ignore this if you don't want to worry about it um, if you froze any apps or you delete any apps that were stock applications like backup assist or for any of these Verizon stuff, if those got removed, then your update will fail because it needs to see those files when it's trying to update. Okay, so that's that's all kind of my prerequisites on this thing so you guys can understand where I'm coming from on this. Also, you want to make sure you have a good battery charge on it. That's very important. So, once you got the file there, we can just power off. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually boot into stock Android recovery. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and apply the update manually. This is the only way to do it at this point. So we're going to hold our volume up and down buttons on the side. Just hold them down. Hold the power button. So you see this screen. Scroll down one to hit recovery. Push volume up. 
and it will power into recovery. So your, your scrolling is with the down volume and then your selecting is with the up volume. So you just scroll down to recovery and then select up. And it's going to boot up and you're going to come to a screen with I think an Android guy on his side or something. Let's see what it is. Okay, so there's the Android guy on his side. Now what you got to do is hit both your volume up and down at the exact same time. And now you're in stock Android system recovery. Okay, so we're in here and at this point your volume up and down are your scrolling and your powers you're selecting. That's how it works in Android recovery. So we're going to scroll down to apply update from external storage. That is why you have to have that update zip on the external storage. You also don't want to extract the zip. Just leave it in zip form like you would when you download it. Um, so apply update from external. So you're going to click it. You're going to scroll down to the zip. I put it in just in the main root of the folder. Um, if you put it into like downloads or something like that in there then you just got to search for it. But that's where I put it. So then you just hit power again. And it's installing slash SD card and it's going to go ahead and go through the update process. This process I'm going to guess is going to take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to kind of pop in and out on it to kind of give you guys updates as it's going along. Um, but I don't want to let you watch the whole thing because it's going to bore you to death. So we'll come back once it starts doing some more stuff. Oh, wait, right there. So it's finding update package, opening update package, and verifying update package. So first three steps, like I said, there's a progress bar in the bottom. I'm not going to really show it to you because the zoom right here is nice so you can actually read the wording. Verifying current system. This is the important step. If anything's wrong with your system, right here, it's going to fail on like a status 7, I think it's a status 7 error or something like that. And it's because you removed an application. You did something wrong, basically. Um, and the only way to fix that is probably going to be, you can reboot the system. It just won't update you. The way to fix that is going to be to go ahead and do an AP fast boot or SBF and restore your device to stock ice cream sandwich. Then apply the update and you'll be running. So let's just let this run through and I'll come back to it. Well, it's been about another three minutes and we've proceeded to update BP, update LTE, and now we're patching pre-install files. And here's your progress bar across the bottom and we're about 40%. So we'll come back to it. Oh, it just did a couple more things there. Removing some unneeded files, patching web top files. So it's still going, just, just let it go. All right, another two minutes here, and we have uh, patched webtop, unpacked new files in webtop, system links and permissions in webtop, removed unneeded files, patching system files. Coming back to it. All right, well, it was patching system files now for, ooh, man, I don't know, a good five minutes. Uh, just patched boot image, created empty directory and system, unpacking new files. So we're into this a good 10 minutes already. Like I said, be very patient on it. All right, we're moving pretty quick here now. Um, empty directory, unpacking new files, new recovery, system permissions, a whole, whole bunch of updates, dev tree, blah, 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 blah. So our progress bar along the bottom, you can see, is pretty much done. I think what it's going to do here, yeah, okay, there it is. So... Install from SD card complete. Okay, um, that is the official install. It didn't go in and go ahead and boot to installing new radios, which I thought it might, but it doesn't look like it's going to. So all you got to do right now is go ahead and hit your power button because the top option is reboot system now. So we're going to hit that and it will reboot. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here on boot up. There's your Joy Bionic boot animation. Obviously, we didn't have any errors in that uh, install process, so that's a good thing. Everything should boot fine. First boot could take up to 10 minutes because it is redoing a bunch of files because you just installed a bunch of files, so it needs might take a little longer on first boot up, so be patient with it. Okay, since we just did the update, it is now doing Android is upgrading. 
What it's doing is it's optimizing all of your applications one by one. I have 102 on there right now, so it's got to optimize them all for jelly bean, not ice cream sandwich. Let this process run and everything should boot up after it's done. Optimization is done. We are now starting apps, uh, upgrading contacts, database, and just finishing up this upgrade process. Shouldn't take too long here. It should wrap up. There you go, finishing boot. Voila. There it is, that is the first boot up with Jelly Bean. Don't worry about my no cell service and no service in the bottom. I don't have a SIM card in this device right now, that's why it's like that. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. It tells you right here that to activate Google Now, you can push the search button down the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and look through this thing. First of all, let's go ahead and go to settings. Da, 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 da. And we're going to scroll down to about phone. And show you guys what we're running here. So this is now 4.1.2, which is Jelly Bean. So we can actually click on the Android version here. And <laughs> there it is. Jelly bean and hold on this guy and see the beans all the beans so that's very nice we're gonna go ahead and go back to about phone and I'll show you the right here system version is now 98.72.22.xt875 there it is that's what we're running on this device these are pretty much your standard applications in there nothing seems too exciting in there um, let's check out your app drawer like I say pretty much the phone hasn't changed too much just updated to jelly bean um, let's see here I'll just get you in settings yeah so there it is that is the official update for the bionic to jelly bean that's it guys I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial um, also, uh, I'm going to give you guys extra credit here and show you guys how to restore root now. So what we're going to do, if, if you just want to update your phone, don't pay attention to this. If you had root access and you, you protected it, go ahead. This is what you're going to want to do to wrap this up. So we have super user right here, but what we're going to do is go into Voodoo OTA. And we're going to click on that. Let it boot up. Might take a second here. Okay, so you saw what I did down there. If it doesn't come up, just hit this refresh status button. So, as you can see, device rooted, no. Root permission granted, no. So what we wanna do is go ahead and restore root. Let's give it a second here. and okay so root has been restored so then we're gonna go back we're gonna go into um, super user and this should be functioning correctly now and then what I want to do is just go back into um, where is it at voodoo and before it said root permission granted and oh there it is now it says root permission granted also that box is also checked so you should have root access. We're going to test it with, um, I'm going to go ahead and download root checker just to show you guys. Let's do that first. Let me take a second, you know, everything's still kind of warming up because of the jelly bean update. What I've found is normally it needs to like kind of warm up for a little bit, like 15, 20 minutes and then do like a reboot and then everything will kind of function a lot better because it's got all of its programs and everything starting to work work together like it's supposed to. So we're gonna hit agree. Okay. And then verify root access. And you should see a super user window pop up. It's so normally there it is. Allow. Whoop. There you go. 
And there you go, congratulations device has root access. So now you've maintained your root permission. And like I said, lastly we're gonna go to safe strap. Go ahead and hit it. And safe straps granted use super user, hit install recovery. Come on, wrapping up here. Shouldn't take too long. Cleaning up. Granting super user permission. Shabam. Installed and you're good. You have safe strap back, you have jelly bean, and you have root access. There it is. That's the long video. Hope you guys liked it. Please check me out at rootjunkie.com. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.